Hello guys and welcome to the tutorial video for the M9 Bayonet. Yeah, I've got a new setup for tutorials, yay! So it should be a lot better. Um, the shadow right here is my head. I apologize. But anyways, without further ado, let's just get on to the actual tutorial because this is going to be relatively long. Here are basically just the parts of the knife. Um, they all go together eventually and you just have the knife. But for now, we'll just build the handle. So to start off, we're going to build some of the slope pieces, or the parts, I guess. So here is a 2x2 two two slope brick with a 1x2 tile, and these just go on like so. And you're going to need four of these guys. Um, on the bottom of the knife, you're going to reflect this by basically doing the same thing, except with inverted slopes, as you can see right here. But you're going to have a jumper plate right here, you know like this go on here and then any sort of smooth piece one by two piece that goes here it could be a vent piece it could just be a normal sink towel it doesn't matter as long as it's smooth and again four of these guys those will go to the side right there um, next we're gonna build again more slopes first one's relatively simple it's a two by four with two two by two slopes that just go on like this you have this shape, like so. Put that to the side end again. You're gonna need multiple. There's two. And the next one is basically the same as one of these slopes, except you don't have the jumper plate. And you're gonna need four of them, but you're gonna connect them in the middle with a two by two, like so. So you have two things looking like this. Of course, you can just use a two by four in the middle. I don't know why I didn't, but you know, again, you can use whatever smooth bricks you have. It could be like this, it could be a vent, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, these are all the little pieces you'll need for the grooves on the handle. Next is the sort of end of the knife. So, you start off with one of these, which is basically two two by three slope bricks, if I can show you guys properly. There you go. On some tiles. So, you have something that's uh, like this. Next, you want to get some of these pieces, you could just simply have a 1x3, but, uh, you know, whatever. Just something that can sort of build a little arch for here. And it should look something like this once you're done. Again, you can use 1x3s. A 1x2, doesn't matter what color for here. I have a lighter one just because I was lazy to go and find another black one. So it's light gray. Doesn't matter what color it is because it'll be covered. And here you have a 1x2 with two holes, which have the Technic bracket pins inside it. And that just goes right on top of the 1x2 you just placed, and it should look something like so. Next, you're going to take a break from this little piece, and you're going to need one of these. It's sort of a U-shaped, sloped kind of piece right here. A 2x2 plate goes on the middle, and then a 1x2 that goes on right there, if I could show you guys, but yeah, there you go. Um, this goes with this guy right here, so um, yeah, it just pops on like this, and then uh, once I get it on, I can show you guys what happens next, once you get this on like this, there you go. Um, you take two 1x2 two inverted slopes, plop them on the back, and you should have this hole here, which is, um, three studs tall, and you're gonna put this to the side as well. Next up are the pieces you're gonna need for the, basically, foundation of the, uh, handle. Two 2x12s, two or whatever pieces you have to make that distance. Um, one 2x2 two two doesn't have to be a cylindrical plate, it could just be your normal plate. Two smooth 1x2s of any kind, like I said before, it could be vented or not vented or whatever. And then four jumper plates. So to start off, you're going to build the two 2x12s uh, or whatever pieces you have. Sort of staggered like this. You need your 2x2 uh, two two cylindrical plate or whatever you chose there. Right here, like I said, it doesn't have to be cylindrical. And you're going to have this gap here that you can fill in or you don't have to if you're worried about, you know, running out of pieces. It just really doesn't matter. Next up, you're going to count two studs 
from here and place down two jumper plates with a smooth towel right after so it should look like so there you go and then you're gonna skip another two and put on two more jumper plates and a smooth piece so you know it's like a pattern two studs and then jumper plates uh one by two flat two studs jumper plates or whatever and it should look something like this you're gonna combine this with the end piece you made earlier just by taking off the top or the bottom in this case i'm taking off the bottom and um it should be pretty self-explanatory this part with the circular brick just goes in here And then you put the pieces back. And you should have something that looks like a really weird hammer or something like that. Now is when all these guys come to use. So start off with the inverted pieces or like this. Um, put these right underneath where you have these empty spaces. So um, should look something like this. And you're gonna take these slope pieces with the 2x4 and you're gonna mirror the bottom parts. So basically, you put them wherever there are studs. So you put them like this and you should have these big gaps with jumper plates. And that's where these little slope parts come in handy. You just put them on the jumper plates. And you should have a rather nice looking top bit with this line going through and um, of course the bottom pieces just mirror the top ones and once you're done you should have something that looks like the bayonet handle with the little grooves um, if it doesn't turn out this way I guess just go back to the instructions make sure you didn't miss any steps and well if you follow them correctly you should have something that looks like this next up just some of the smaller little gray pieces excluding the blade Start off with the end butt plate, or the end plate. Um, everything light gray for this knife is basically, you could build it in whatever color for the skin. Uh, the handle, of course, if you want to build something color coded, it has to stay, stay black or maybe dark gray. But the rest, you could just use whatever color. You can have a rainbow camo, or if you have the pieces, you know, CSGO skins. So start off the back piece, it's a 4x4 plate with a 4x4 cylindrical, or not cylindrical, this case, it's just a disc piece that's 4x4, and it fits on like this, and this is just for the end of the knife. This part, right here, it's part of the cover here, um, and you just have a 1x2 with a hole, with two of these slope bricks, and a 1x1 on the top, and you just put these together, and you should have this funky looking, I guess, rocket ship looking thing this part is also simple simple <laughs> i can't talk but um yeah it's kind of the same as the karambit you know for the ring uh you know you just fold it this way but in this case instead of having the studs face outwards you're having it face inwards like so and then you have this little thing which are two one by two slope bricks on a one by four and you just put this on here and these pieces will connect to this so you know the butt part just goes on to these two little bracket technic pins like so and this piece goes on right here um leave this piece off for now because you're going to want to attach the blade but yeah you've pretty much got half the knife complete now now this part's going to be the hard part not for you guys but for me because making instructions for something like this is going to be uh, it's gonna be pretty hard Let's build it in segments or sections. I guess so to start off. You have one of this This is one of the end parts of the blade and as you can see it's a 1x6 plate With a 1x3 and then some smooth pieces on the top and two cheese slopes And um, yeah, if you pause right here, you should be able to figure out how this is built. You know the dimensions already This is a 1x6 so you guys are smart people I hope so. So you guys should be able to figure this out. So this is the first segment part. Putting that aside, you have something a bit more challenging. Well, not really. Here you have a 1x8 with cheese slopes, like so, skipping one stud every time. And then you have this little shape here, which is a 1x1 
with a 1x1 smooth tile on top and then just a 1x1 smooth tile right here. And like I said, you guys are smart people. You should be able to figure this out just by pausing the video. Next part, you have a 1x4 with a 1x2 smooth tile and then just a 1x12. Um, these go together along with this piece. So, um, oh, sorry, I just bumped the camera right there. So you take these two pieces you made. This just goes on like so. The 1x12 goes on like this. And then the 1x6 part goes on like this. And you'll have essentially the top of the bayonet. Next is the tip of the knife, which gets really complicated. So here you have a 1x10 with a 1x2 smooth piece here. And then a 1x4 and then a 1x2 smooth piece here. So you should have something that looks... I don't know, kind of like a dragon head or something. And then you're gonna build this, which is basically a one by two, a one by two, a one by three, and then a one by four, like so. So you have two studs, five studs, and then four studs, making this funky looking shape right here, which I guess could be another dragon head. And these just go together like this, which then fits together with the previous piece you made, like this. Next part is this. You're gonna need a 1x10 and a 1x6 stacked like this with two studs on both sides. And then a jumper plate with a 1x3 smooth tile on top. And these just go like this. And this attaches on what you previously made like so. And this should be hanging off the edge and you should have a four stud gap right there. You put a 1x2 right there and then three 1x4s, or you can simply use a 1x12, but this will add basically another layer to the knife. Basically, you're adding another layer once again to here so that this lines up with this side, and you'll have a smooth tile go here soon. Another 1x12 with a 1x2 smooth piece here. Uh, as you can see, this is where it goes. And this just goes right here, so it basically completes the little hole there. And here, as you can see, has, you know, five studs missing. Sorry about this gap. I'm basically taking apart the knife as we go. Uh, it's about the only way I can do this. I mean, this is a rather complicated design. Not really, but it's hard to make instructions. Anyways, basically you're filling in this gap with whatever pieces you got. You can use a two... 1x2 with a 1x3 uh, or a 1x1 one one with a 1x4, which is what I did, but just basically fill that little gap. Now we're just adding more and more layers. Here is a 1x4 with a 1x12. They both just go on here. Again, another layer adding to this slope here. And to cap it off, we have this, which is basically... 14 studs here, and then 8 studs here, leaving a 3 stud wide gap on both sides, goes on the bottom of here, and boom, you've got your blade. So to complete this, basically you just put this little pl place with the uh, jumper plate right, shit, uh, there, right there, and then you just cap it off. And boom, you've got your bayonet. Um, there are some flaws, like right here, some black shows, but really there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I had to do it to uh, get the color scheme right and, you know, have a sort of one stud wide blade. Of course, you can have thicker blades or whatever if you want to, but that's up to you. For me, this is how I did it. Um, like I said before, the light gray, all of the light gray pieces can be swapped out with whatever color for, you know, a knife skin. And like all the previous tutorials, um, if you have any questions, contact me through the comment section, a DM, or through my personal email, which will be in my, or which is currently in my about tab on the YouTube channel. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching, even though you guys should be thanking me for the tour. <coughs> and well, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.